Welcome to this video on processing leave in Sage Payroll and HR. Before we begin a leave application, let's view the leave policy screen. Select the administrator's drop down and click Settings. Select Time Off. Let's look at the policy screen. This screen will display the default leave policies on the system. To edit a leave policy, click Settings. Here you can Change the name of the leave policy. Enter a description. Specify the number of days in the policy and how they will accrue. You can also select the date you want the policy to reset. If you scroll down, you are able to choose settings for working days and working hours. You may also choose to count weekends or public holidays as workdays by checking the relevant checkbox. Here you can select whether to carry over unused time. Select the General tab. Here you can specify whether to show the time off in the calendar and the notifications that will display. The Conditions tab allows you to specify whether the employee can apply for partial days off, and more detailed settings relating to the minimum and maximum days employees can apply for. On the Allowance tab, you are able to automate the calculation of remaining leave days when an employee is terminated, and configure allowance settings should your company provide it. The Workflow tab allows you to automate or configure the approvals process. Under Additional Fields, you can specify the Details field and select to add additional fields should you need to. You can also choose to allow an attachment to the policy when requesting time off. Under Payroll Settings you can specify if the leave in this policy is paid or unpaid, and whether the leave is short or long term. When you are done configuring the setup of the leave policy, click Save. Let's go to the next tab, Individual Allowances. This tab allows you to edit the individual allowance for specific employees. The Time Off Approvers screen displays the approval settings for time off. Here you are able to filter the employee list by team and location. To edit the approval for an employee, simply click on the Edit icon. Here you can specify the approvers by selecting the relevant checkbox and choosing the individual approver from the drop-down list. Should you wish to automate the approval, select this checkbox. Click Save. Note that the individual approver will display next to the employee. Let's go ahead and apply for time off. When an employee signs into Sage HR, they have the option of setting up their profile by uploading their profile photo, adding emergency contact details, and installing the mobile app. On the right side of the screen is the employee's anniversaries and leave balances. By scrolling down you will notice the payslip section. To view the payslip amounts, simply select Show Values. Clicking on Payslip History will display the current payslip as well as previous ones. Back on the dashboard, there is a section for upcoming tasks and time off. To process a new leave request, click Request Time Off. On this screen you will need to Select the Time Off policy. Specify whether the leave is a single day or multi-date. Choose the date range. Enter any relevant information. Then click Submit. A notification will appear at the top of the screen. The request has been sent for approval. Logging in as the approver, you will notice that the task section now displays the time off request. You can either approve, decline, or view the details. 
Let's click on Approve. Here you are able to add in a message. To ensure that the employee gets notified of the approval, check the checkbox. Click Approve. The employee will now receive an email providing the status of the time off request. The tasks are now all caught up. Let's go back into Sage HR as the employee. Select Time Off from the menu on the left. Note the time off history. Here you can filter by policy, time and status. To view all approved leave, select the status approved. Here is the time off request we processed. It will display the leave dates, the date of the request, the policy and the status. Congratulations, you now know how to process an approved leave in Sage Payroll and HR. Thank you for watching.